this title since Walter Donaldson won the second of his world titles 40 years ago. And uh, it's absolutely marvellous to see play of this standard. The finest championship we've ever had here at the Crucible since it came here in 1977. And uh, a great conclusion. Jimmy White sitting there patiently in his chair. Something prodigious required from him. 30th, ready? Yes. Jimmy White to break. White struggling against some despair in his mind. But just for once, a let off from Hendry. Further trouble for Jimmy. He's got a real task ahead of him now to keep them safe. <laughs> he did well to hit the red, but this one is on. It's not easy, but it is on. Sixteen.
32. Stephen may attempt the gentle cannon onto the second red now to hold for the black. 23. And it's a good shot because it has now cleared the black for both corner pockets, making positional play easier. Mm, that's not such a good one though. It's difficult to knock those long ones in when you've been kept in your chair for such long periods as White has today. Another very good shot from Stephen. Using the second red to cannon onto the black. And this break is starting to look very likely to be the killing thrust. Yes, there's only one red that's safe. And Stephen, it appears, is not going to need that red. Only 67 on the table now, and Hendry is 71 in front. <laughs> yes, and that was the, the ball that Stephen needed. Very calm, very cool, playing beautifully.
Jimmy White has lost in three semi-finals. Now he's lost in two finals. Tried to develop the red from the side cushion. 69. But the other one went anyway. 71, Stephen Hendry brings a great championship to an end. He has beaten Jimmy White by 18 frames to 12 to become the youngest ever champion. Jimmy, thank you, in the middle. Where you are, Jim? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going... And now to the winner, a cheque for £120,000, the trophy and the coveted title of 1990 Embassy World Champion goes to Stephen Hendry.